Hi, Dan from Gear Diary here. We've been taking a look at a number of different options for carrying and protecting your photography equipment and maybe a tablet or a laptop. And today we're going to take a look at the Tenba Messenger Bag. It's the small photo laptop bag from Tenba. It has an MSRP of $104.95. You can buy it directly from the company site or you can buy it from Amazon or a few other retailers. It comes in a number of different colors. Let's just run them down. There's black, olive, blue, burnt orange, plum, chocolate, and platinum. We have a sample of the photo laptop messenger in blue. It's a really nice blue color and we thought we would take a look at the bag. As is often the case with photography bags, the bottom has not only padding but some waterproofing, which is important if you put the bag down and you want to protect the precious gear that's inside. I will likely be using this with my Canon T3i, additional lenses and equipment, and I got this specific size for the review because it's good for carrying either my iPad or my MacBook Pro Retina. And that means if I'm carrying a MacBook Pro Retina, I've got a, a very expensive collection of gear in this bag, and so the extra waterproofing at the bottom is greatly appreciated. On the back, you've got some nice padding, so that when you're carrying the bag, both your side and the equipment inside is protected from any swinging and bumps on the bag. And it is breathable, so that if you're carrying it along your back, the way that you often will wear a messenger bag, the airflow will be there if it's a hot day. And it comes with a shoulder strap, which has a nice width to it, decent padding up here. I've read some criticism of the shoulder strap, although having carried the bag with a lot in it after it came, um, I don't run into any issues with the strap. It also has very nice metal hardware. This is not going to break. And all of the seams are perfect and double or triple sewn. They're not going anywhere. Nice feature of this bag is that it has two loops on this side for extra accessories and it has two loops on this side. You can add a water bottle. Uh, the company has a number of different accessories that you can get if you want them. Going around the actual carrying capabilities of the bag, there is a full end zipper on the side with some really nice heavy duty grips. When you unzip it, you have access to a nice full length interior pocket and there are two small open interior pockets there as well. Really nice for carrying some flat things that you want to have quick access to. Looking at the front of this bag, you have two connectors here and you have two small zippered pockets which are perfect for putting your cell phone or something else that you may need to grab quickly and unlike other bags, they're zippered so that if the bag tips over, it won't fall out. Un doing the two plastic connectors doesn't actually open the bag because you've got Velcro inside as well on the left and on the right. And once you look inside, you'll see there's a lot of storage options available to you. You've got an open pocket here. You've got three small open pockets here, an open pocket here, and an open pocket here. You have a zippered area here that is just open and good for holding something that you want to keep protected even when the bag is open. And then along the back, you have a Velcro tab that leads to a very nice padded pocket. Perfect for your laptop, including the MacBook Pro Retina. Again, why I requested this size in the bag for review and not the Mini, I believe it's called the Mini which is, looks really nice as well, but I wanted the option to have a good camera bag that I could carry my MacBook Pro Retina in as well. You also have the expected camera protection inside with the removable partitions so that you can configure it exactly the way you want to configure your bag. Here's the other thing I really like about this particular bag that was not part of the Mini. It's part of this small messenger from Tenba and part of the large messenger from Tenba. The interior camera area comes right out. Now, that does two things. First, it gives you a very large interior and you can use this bag as a messenger for non-camera functions. 
So you can just take it like this, and you've got this nice messenger bag, and you're good to go. And it's actually very thin and very, very light. The other thing that it allows you to do is configure the camera bag area, put your gear in here, and you don't have to be fussing with your camera gear each time you want to pack it or unpack it. You simply pull it out, and then your camera gear is ready to go. Just grab it and go. Or if need be, you can take this and you can throw it into another bag. And while it doesn't keep everything closed on top, you've got your organization system consistent from one bag to the next. So I really like that feature. It's not part of the mini messenger. It is part of the small and of the large messenger. And when you need to put it back in, you simply take it, push it inside, and you're back to having a laptop messenger that also is designed to carry your photographic gear. It's a little bit lighter than some of the other bags we've looked at. It doubles as a camera bag and as a plain messenger bag. It really strikes me as being incredibly well made. The construction is great, the design is great. I can see myself carrying this when we're at CS in January and using it a lot of other times as well. And surprisingly, it has an MSRP of under $105, and you can find it less elsewhere. This is the Tenba Messenger, the small photo laptop bag from Tenba. I'm Dan from Gear Diary. Thanks for watching.